Welcome back to my channel if you guys are always here or welcome if you guys are new today is Saturday and It is a long weekend. I am so excited and thankful that it's a long weekend But I'm about to do some social media work. I'll turn the camera around and show you guys what I'm doing I am just working on like a social media influencer kit. I saw my friend Carter Sullivan make one of these a few months ago And I thought it was so smart. It just kind of compiles everything about my channel and my social medias in general into one document especially when i work with brands and stuff it just makes it easy for them to reference things about my channel so what i'm working on this morning and then i also have pirates of the caribbean on tv all right i just finished up with my media kit and this is kind of what it looks like So I'm gonna link Carter down below for you guys to go watch. She has the best vlogs ever. Carter is so driven and motivating and one of my favorite vloggers. So if you guys haven't ever watched her channel, I'm gonna link her down below for you guys to go watch. I'm going to go take a shower and I have a few things to show you guys that I bought from Target yesterday. I also had this gigantic pumpkin spice coffee today. Probably not the best idea to drink that much coffee, but what can you do? I wanted to show you guys a few things that I bought over the past week So yesterday my mom and I went to Target and I bought some Additional things for my apartment if you guys watched my last vlog um, You definitely should because I announced a few different things in that video But if you guys haven't watched it, I'll link it in a card up here I'm moving in a couple weeks and I bought a few more home pieces and other random goodies. So Got some stuff at Target First of all is this Flamingo Razor. If you guys have ever tried to purchase razor replacements, they're so expensive. I have like a men's razor traditionally and I got it at Costco so it was like a lot cheaper. And the replacement blades for it were like $35 to $40 so I was not about to pay that. So I just bought a new one, it was $9.99 so got a new razor. I also got some little flossers because I got in trouble at the dentist for not flossing. <laughs> And then I also bought these little jaw clips. I love this little tortoise shell print one. I bought this quite a few weeks ago and I forgot to mention it in my apartment haul. So I thought I would show it to you guys here because I'm hauling Target stuff anyway. So this is just a gold paper towel roll holder. Fun stuff. I also got two bags of Smart Sweets. This is usually my favorite flavor. If you guys don't know what these are, they're like high in fiber and low in sugar. They're like a healthier version of candy. I bought three of them and I think they changed the recipe to them or something because they taste different. So that's unfortunate. They're still good, but I also like the little peach rings. I also got these little mini scrunchies for obvious reasons. I got this pack of crew socks to wear with my Doc Martens. And then I was a sucker for these socks. They have little golden retrievers on them. Oops, that's upside down. It has little golden retrievers on it and the bottom says don't stop retrieving. I think they were like $2. I just can't say no. I got these green athletic shorts. They're kind of a heathered green color. I got them in a size small and they are the brand All In Motion from Target. Lastly, I bought two of these, which they're stuck together. They're just like these graded 
baskets and I'm planning to use these in my pantry. I'm also probably going to get some of these for my closet, but they only had two black ones available at my Target, so I might stop by another Target today and see if I can find any of those, but maybe not. I just don't know if I feel like going there today. So those were $7.99, I believe. And then this is really random, but this is from Sam's Club, actually. These are makeup erasers, and I've been using makeup erasers for the past five years, I think. And I really, really, really like them. I haven't had to buy makeup wipes in years, and if I did, it was just one little small pack. And these just make taking your makeup off so easy. And they come in like a bigger size, which is what I have. I actually have two of them and I just keep it in my shower and I take my makeup off in the shower at night. But you just basically wet this with hot water and then it takes off um, all makeup. It says it takes off waterproof mascara, but I don't know if that's true. I've never tried it. <laughs> so this pack is all little mini makeup erasers and then it comes with a bag to wash all of them. So basically you just wash them in the washing machine with normal towels. It says that you're supposed to replace them every, I think four years. I personally have had mine a lot longer than that. The fabric just kind of gets less soft, but it still works just as well. Um, so I got a little pack of those and I think it was around $20. So unfortunately, I don't think Sam's Club has online links, but I can try to find something similar and link it for you. Otherwise, I'll just link the regular makeup erasers. Seriously, one of my favorite products and I just love the fact that it's less waste. I try to be better, but sometimes obviously we can't be perfect. And then yesterday or the day before, I think I went to Bath and Body Works because all of the fall scents are out and I'm just a sucker for fall and Halloween. So I bought this candle holder. I thought it would be cute for literally any season. And then I also got this uh, pumpkin vanilla cream candle. It smells so good. I wish the actual wax of it wasn't colored because that kind of freaks me out um, that I'm burning that and inhaling it essentially. And then I had a coupon for a free free um, body product with a purchase. So I picked up this vanilla buttercream hand cream. I actually didn't even smell it at the store because obviously you have to wear a mask and stuff. So, so I didn't even smell it, but I need lotion. So we'll give it a try. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like vanilla, of course. <laughs> and then lastly, I got this ghoul friend candle. Again, sucker for anything Halloween. This one is super bright pink. But it is dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. Those are the four things I got at Bath and Body Works. And that concludes the haul. So I'm actually going to run over to Kohl's and I'm going to pick him up and we're going to go get something to eat for lunch. And if you guys didn't watch my last vlog, you wouldn't know that Cole and I are back together. I did announce it in the last video. Surprise, if you haven't seen that. A lot of people actually didn't even watch that video. So if you didn't see that one, I did announce that. Okay, I have a headache, so I'm going to go eat. <laughs> area then we went to Starbucks and I had too much coffee this morning so I got a pink drink and now I don't know what we're gonna do I'm so boring why are you hiding Pumpkin pie and apple, caramel apple pie. Oh. Crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs>
Is there a pumpkin? Is there actual nope. pumpkin in it? The pumpkin one's good. It's crust. <laughs> it's crust. I don't like the whipped cream. I don't like whipped cream really. I like this one better, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Should I go try one? Okay. I'm getting this one back. I don't want it back. I want some fresh oh. fries. Is there crust in this one? Yep. Okay. My consensus is I like that. Mm. Apple pie went better. It was very unnecessary. Ever, as a kid, Super Mario Sunshine is coming to Switch. I'm stoked. Hi guys, I just finished getting ready. I think it's around two o'clock now and I'm gonna go run to Michael's because I placed an online order for pickup and I'm gonna try to make little resin things. They're like little resin bowls, I guess. I bought like a silicone mold that makes like little jewelry dishes, I guess. That's a better word, jewelry dish, not a bowl. And I also bought some like little gold flecks to put in the resin. Just a fun little crafty thing to do today. So um, I've been doing a lot of research on how to make my own x-ray markers. So I actually ordered some little um, unmounted lead letters. Or I think they're actually not lead, but metal letters to make my own x-ray markers. So maybe in the future I'll make x-ray markers. But who knows? I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself because I have never worked with resin in my life. And it could be terribly hard. My order is ready there so I'm gonna go pick that up and then work on that for the evening. I'm wearing those green shorts from Target. I washed them last night and then my little zip up from Lulu. picked up my order I will show you guys what I got once I get home I'm gonna try it out today I got this clear casting epoxy I don't know if this is the best one to use but this is the one they had online so I got that one and then I got some little gold and silver and rose gold little flakes which this is going to be so cute I'm really excited for that these were like one of the only actual resin molds that I could find but they're just little silicone bowls. So this is what I'm gonna try today. And then if I do end up making markers, I wanna give this a try because they're cute little cacti. I'd have to buy really tiny little things. So I don't know, we'll see. That's what I got at Marshall's. I mean, Michael's. <laughs> I just got back from Michael's, not Michael's, Joanne's Fabrics with my mom and 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm gonna try to start making scrunchies again. Oh, scrunchies take so much time to make when it comes to making bulk amounts of them. Like I sell bulk amounts of scrunchies on my Etsy and that is solely what I sold with only scrunchies. So today I actually spent the day kind of rebranding my Etsy shop and kind of brainstorming new ways to put product on my Etsy shop. So hopefully within the next month, there will be some new things on my Etsy. But being said, I went to Joanne's Fabrics just to look for a couple things for the resin stuff. And I'll show you guys that. So I bought the Mixins Pour Art Pearl Powder, which has a variety of different colors. So you can actually mix this in with the resin and it makes it kind of like an opalescent color. I just kind of want to play around with things like that. Also with the resin, if you guys are gonna try resin, I just wanted to give like a little disclaimer to make sure that you're wearing like a respirator mask because the resin creates chemicals that are not good for a person to breathe in and they're not good for our systems. So you should be in a well-ventilated place with a respirator mask on and then you should also wear gloves because the resin isn't good if it gets on your skin when it's wet. Just be cautious, read up on the precautions and the rules that you should follow when working with resin. But I did just wanna say that because I watched a few resin videos today where people gave those disclaimers. So I don't wanna promote anything that is dangerous to people. Just be safe when you're working with things that are potentially toxic and hazardous. Get ready for this. I'm gonna show you guys some fabrics. I bought this white fabric and it has these little kind of like goldish tan colored dots. They're like three dots. I really like the minimal light colored scrunchies, but I know my taste isn't everyone's taste. So I did get this one. And then this one's pretty much for myself. I only got half of a yard for this, but my boyfriend Cole, he loves the Vikings. So I'm making myself a Viking scrunchie to wear on game days. Um, if I have enough fabric, maybe I can make something for him too. But I got that one. Probably not gonna sell that one because legality issues. And then I also got this cute little pumpkin one. A lot of people last year were asking for fall themed scrunchies and I couldn't find any patterns that were cute and didn't look like a grandma's fabric kind of. So this one probably does look like a grandma fabric, but I thought it was something a little more simple that maybe people would like. So it just has little pumpkins on it. And then I also got this orange one that just has little flowers on it. And last but not least, I got this speckled one. This pattern reminds me of Sarah's day. She has like a whole wall in her office of this pattern. Then she did it like a year, I would say like a year ago, she launched her office like that. But anyway, it's a very light peachy tan and black, obviously. So that's everything that i got at joann's i'm gonna try to do that resin tonight and just see how one little piece goes and i'll let you guys know how it worked out but i'm probably gonna edit this video tonight and upload it tomorrow for you guys because tomorrow i have off because of labor day so excited i'm gonna go upstairs and hang out with my mom and research resin stuff for a little while obviously i'm not gonna wear nice clothing either that's another thing i'm gonna put like an older sweatshirt on